Hello Internet, welcome to another quick fire tutorial on 8051. In this quick tutorial, I want to discuss about bit level operations in 8051. One most important feature of 8051 is to perform operations on individual bits, uh, which makes the programming really interesting and worthwhile. Now, <coughs> There are very, very few uh, bit level instructions or bit level operations which are permitted in AT51, and it is very, very easy to remember them and very, very easy to implement them. The only problem is that we should be aware of the restrictions on these bit level operations, and in this tutorial, I will. I'll touch upon all the key points which are essential to do uh, bit level operations and programming without making mistakes. So first things first, before you even start to attempt doing bit level operations or programming, you should be aware of what all bits are we talking about. There are two areas in AT51 which have uh, <coughs> registers with individual bit addresses. Now this is very important. The area in the RAM from 20H to 2FH there are 16 registers whose bits are assigned individual addresses. I've discussed that in the, uh, in the tutorial where I discussed the structure of memory of AT51. You could watch that too. Now, the addresses of the bits in this 16 registers, they start from 00H in the first register. So every bit is assigned a specific address and it goes up to 7FH. So all in all there are 128 bits in this area <coughs> which can be made 1 or 0 or it can be complemented uh, individually each bit. And the other thing uh, that we need to be aware of is the list of SFRs which are bit addressable. And I've written down the SFRs which are bit addressable. So, for example, accumulator uh, has an address E0, so the individual bits of the, the these register this register will have addresses from e0 to e7 so e0 e1 e2 to e7 and you can find out the addresses of each bit in these registers very easily i've mentioned that as i said in the previous tutorial also so for example if you want to find the bit addresses of IE, they'll start from A8, A9, AA, and so on, up to A, <coughs> F. <coughs> so, and similarly, port 0 has 80H, port 1 has 90H, port 2 has uh, A0H, and port 3 has p0h register addresses and then I'll write down the bit level operations which are permitted apart from these instructions if you try and attempt to use any other instruction that will cause an error now it is very important to remember limitations
on these instructions. So the first instruction is performing and operation logical and on a bit then we could perform logical or then we could clear a bit then we could complement a bit then we could set a bit and there is one move instruction permitted and I'm going to show you with examples now uh, I'll start with the easiest one clearing a bit would make the bit zero and I'll give you an example for example if you want to uh, make the auxiliary carry zero how do I do that I would I would write down CLR <coughs> and I'll have to find out the address of this bit which in this case would be D0, D6, D7 so if I write down CLR D6 H it is automatically going to clear auxiliary carry similarly complement bit would invert the bit if it is a zero it will make it one if it is a one it will make it zero and if I use CPL D7H it will complement the carry and similarly set bit will make the bit one <coughs> we could take any rand random example if if I say set B D1, D2, D3, D4, set B, D4H, set B, D3H. So this is going to make these two bits as one and which will eventually select the register bank 3. So that is how we select the register banks by setting or clearing these two bits. So these three instructions are super easy. They are the only permittable, uh, permissible instructions for making the bits 0, 1 or complement. Then if you want to move anything between the bits, it can be only done through carry. Now I'll take an example. For example, if I wish to uh, move the contents of the first bit of 20H register into the last bit of 2F register I cannot use this instruction I cannot use this instruction move 00H comma 7FH or if I want to move 7F the contents of 7FH bit into 00H I cannot use this instruction this is going to be wrong because this instruction would move the contents of the register 7FH into the register 00H uh, however if we want to achieve or accomplish this operation we need to take help of the carry uh, so what I'll do is I'll move into carry the contents of 7F H bit and then I'll move into 00H the contents of carry 
now this way the microcontroller will understand that 7FH is not a register we're talking about the address of a bit here so this is supremely important I'll put a double star next to it that anything which has to be moved between the bits will go via C and now we are left with the logical operations on bits all right the logical operations are just two operations which are allowed one is and operation the other one is or operation the not operation is achieved by CPL so these two operations are only applicable to carry again a star point I'll show you with an example here um, for example you want to logically and the content of the 00H register with carry then you would use this instruction A and L C comma 00H because anything and everything will happen with the C bit which is of course the D7 um, address carry has an address of D7 so logical and operation and logical or operation will happen only with C as the destination bit and there is one more operator if you want to logically and the contents of the uh, if you want to logically and the con contents of some register you could use these two commands for logical and and logical or if you want to perform an and operation with the inverted bit then you could use a slash zero uh, zero H this is going to invert the bit first and then perform the logical and operation and similarly uh, these are valid commands so these are the quick fire key points uh, please be aware number of operations are uh, limited to seven only the number of uh, bits bit addresses that you can use are 128 bits here and a few SFRs which are bit addressable so super easy if you keep yourself under restrictions of 8051 architecture and that was it for today's lecture I hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching this video if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it, it greatly helps and thank you so much for watching again have a good day good life bye